그는 오지 않았습니다. 외국인 희생자들이 있었기에 저는 이 사실을 전 세계에 알려야 된다는 생각이 들었습니다. 그래서 영어로 짧은 실력이지만 외신 기자들께 이 소식을 전합니다. 한 actor who was crushed to death in an alley in the city of Itaewon in Seoul, Korea. More than 350 casualties occurred in the middle of the street in Itaewon, South Korea. In a large-scale disaster that is unprecedented in the world. Of the 159 victims, 26 were foreigners who loved Korea and visited Korea. They were young people with bright features from 14 countries, including Austria, the United States, China, Japan, France, Iran, Uzbekistan, Russia, Thailand, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, Australia, and Kazakhstan. Can you believe that? Not two, not 15, but as many as 159 people died of stampede while walking. Today, December 16th, is the 49th day since the death of 159 people in Korea. On the 49th day since the death of 159 people, a ritual called Sashikuje is held in Korea. The, 90, the 49th day is a ceremony for our 159 sons and daughters to pray for their reincarnation in the safest country in the world. As time passes, we comfort ourselves by saying, that the pain and longing will get better little by little. But rather, the pain and longing are getting bigger as time goes by. There are still bereaved family members, including myself, that have not yet been able to report the death of our sons and daughters. And no, I don't think I can do it forever. The bereaved families do not know why and how our sons and daughters died. And the Korean government does not tell us the cause. The Korean government rather did things that we do not understand by conducting drug tests on the victims without their parents' permission. There are also local Korean parents whose child body was transferred from Itaewon, Yongsan to a place very far and it took some families up to 12 hours to bring their sons and daughters back home. Why did you leave the body unattended for more than 12 hours 
when you had their cell phones and IDs? Why did you push the pouring crowds back into the alley? There are more than one or two things that the Korean government is doing that I do not understand. And even though they know the contact information of the victims' families, they have not given it to us until now. We have been looking everywhere to find out and now we are in contact with about 170 families of 100 victims. It's a miracle we did ourselves. In Itaewon, Yongsan, Republic of Korea, there was no state then, and there is no state now. I sincerely hope that people around the world will pay attention to this disaster that happened in Korea and never forget this disaster. December 16, 2022 in Itaewon, South Korea. Thank you for listening. Remember us. <laughs>